right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Mount Tammany Ridge. You can probably uh, tell I'm looking around, make sure the coast is clear. I'm trying to, to stay away from the others for just a brief moment here. And uh, just kind of give you a little bit of a intro here to the video without all this noise and hustle and bustle going on around here. So I'm gonna give it a shot and see how this goes. But uh, yeah, this week's been uh, it's been a heck of a week. It's uh, kind of been one thing after another, nothing bad, just uh, project after project, nothing huge, but just a constant flow. And uh, you'll uh, you'll see that throughout the, the video, you know, um, you know, just the things going on. You're really just gonna in long form you're really just gonna see just a couple things um but in the intro to the video you'll you'll get the gist of it but um so over here i'm standing along the woods line this is actually what i'm going to be working on today we got all this thick weeds and they're getting so tall and heavy that they're falling over into our little uh grass lane that we have that goes around the whole property perimeter so that's what I'm going to be goofing around with today. Um, and even a little tidying up uh, on the end of the, uh, this stage of this project uh, that you'll see in this video um, with uh, the boxwood bush that I'm moving. So, um, so we'll be uh, cleaning that up a little bit today. And I think my main thing is going to be this. And hopefully, if this doesn't take me all day going around, I don't know, I'd say about uh, one half of the border of the property, um, you know, I'm going to make a full loop around and right back up to the wood yard with the excavator. So, uh, you know, that that's my plan is that I'll, when I get the excavator back to the wood yard, I might be able to throw on my chaps, fire up the saw and buck up some more log rounds so that I can uh, do some splitting. Maybe tomorrow if it doesn't rain, it looks like there's a possibility we might get some of that. So it might be a Tuesday or a Wednesday before I can actually get around to doing some more splitting. But uh, don't you worry, in this video, I've uh, got a little bit of splitting going on. So you guys will get your, uh, you, you firewood hounds will get your splitting fix here on the Mount Tammany channel. And uh, yes, I will be using the uh, Brute Force uh, Semi-Pro. And um, I'm just gonna let you guys get into the video. Uh, hopefully you enjoy it. And I'll catch up with you at the end of the video. <laughs>
Good evening, everybody. It's Monday evening, and uh, I'm uh, up here in the garage, and uh, this is going to be my outro uh, for this episode. Um, this episode is going to be covering, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, last week, last weekend, um, and, you know, this weekend as well. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I'm, uh, I'm in here in the garage, and... Uh, kind of um, taking some tips uh, from another uh, YouTube channel that I saw a long time ago. Um, and uh, I, I, I can't pull the name of the channel out of the sky right now. Um, but I did remember uh, what they were doing here. I think it was a YouTube channel. It was one of the uh, firewood channels uh, way down south, I think in Georgia or something. And uh, I'll show you uh, what I'm doing here. All right, so um, one of the gentlemen down south that has his own YouTube channel, he um, took some aluminum. And uh, you can see here, I'm making basically like, kind of like dog tags for, for the, uh, the totes and the uh, log lift bags and things like that. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, the cool thing about this is, you know, this is uh, aluminum. So, uh, with the aluminum, you don't have to worry about rusting. And uh, normally rusting, you know, it's not that big a deal if you're stamping something into it. Uh, <clears throat> but because I'm going to be writing on it with permanent marker, uh, with a Sharpie, he had said that because it's aluminum, you just take some very fine sandpaper with you when you need to change the date on it, and you simply just sand it off. And because it's aluminum, uh, you can sand it and sand it and sand it over again and never have to worry about it rusting on you. So uh, that's what I got going on here. I got a bunch of these things cut up. And um, the only downside to these, uh, I use tin shears to, to cut them. Um, and I'm obviously using a drill bit to drill through uh, I don't really care for the sharp edges. Um, you know, maybe one of these days I'll be able to, you know, go to a, I don't know, a uh, flea market or something and find somebody who's got a punch where I can, uh, you know, punch the holes through. Those will be nice and clean and uh, won't have any burrs. Uh, it would be very time consuming for me to, you know, uh, goof around with these things. And uh, I could snip the corners off. I still might do that, but even along these edges here, um, it's, it's still a little on the sharp side, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Um, I'm just gonna be throwing a zip tie through these things and putting them on the, on the bags and the totes. So that's what I got going on. So uh, I'm gonna continue uh, plugging away at these things and um, I imagine uh, in my next video, or maybe the video after, I'll bring you guys along on uh, dating these things and zip tying them to the uh, to the firewood totes and bags and things like that. Um, of course, silly me, I went and I bought the sheet of aluminum the other day while it was a tractor supply, and boy, was that expensive, by the way. Um, and I, I, I forgot to grab a package of uh, black zip ties. Um, so uh, this is uh, what I got going on at the moment. But um, I just wanted to uh, thank you guys, um, you know, for continuing to tune into my channel. It means a lot to me. Uh, Teresa, uh, <clears throat> you know, has been having uh, more and more fun the more she gets involved. Uh, with what I got going on down there. So uh, it was a big thank you from Teresa too. And, um, you know, also I wanted to thank uh, all the new subscribers. I mean, uh, since uh, since I went to Boonville uh, and, and uh, appeared there and 
you know, talked with a lot of people, um, and, uh, you know, I've made some really great, uh, connections and some friends and things like that. So, uh, I, I'm really, really happy. So, but thank you to the new subscribers. I think I got something like 90 new subscribers or something. Um, uh, I know that's, you know, not necessarily knocking it out of the park, but, uh, at the same time, I mean, and, uh, the past few weeks for me to, you know, gain 90 subscribers, uh, in comparison to, you know, how long it took me to get to where I was before I got to Boonville, uh, that was like, uh, uh, a, a tsunami of, uh, you know, new subscribers. So that, that's pretty cool. And, uh, I, again, I really do appreciate it, but, uh, that's going to be it for this video. Um, if, uh, if you could, you know, like comment, even subscribe, uh, share with your friends on, you know, not just, uh, YouTube, um, you know, Facebook and all those other, uh, you know, other, um, <clears throat> social media platforms, you know, uh, see if, uh, if any of them are interested in, uh, coming over to YouTube, check out my channel. But, uh, you know, again, uh, just another firewood hound and, you know, enjoying, enjoying my little, uh, wood yard down there. It's kind of my, uh, how can I say my, um, kind of like a therapy session for me, you know, uh, workout and therapy at the same time. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you hanging out with me here at Mount Tammany Ridge. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Have a good night.